cold. So much water, Uncle Poseidon's realm. Fruits and vegetables thrive within the hidden gardens of Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. A world of life, far from the realm of death. What are these things? Is that you? It's me. of the deep arise. I got you. Wow, a sturgeon. Good catch. the fates that you'd return to me. Perhaps I ought to be more careful how I speak of them. Tell me, how was your journey? What happened? Father didn't make it any easier for me, nor would he tell me why he never sent for you after you left. So I don't know what's going on still, but I wanted to see you again. I wanted to see you too. Come, speak quickly with me that our time together here may be as full as possible, all right? I just, I need to know what happened between you and father. Why are you here and not with us? I couldn't live with myself anymore down there. After I left Olympus, a long story in itself, I came to be with your father in the underworld. It was a shock to say the least. The others in your father's house were welcoming enough, but I never felt that I belonged. I know the feeling, I think. But you stayed long enough to have me. Those whom I've spoken to about you, it's as you said, they have fond memories of you. And then you even had a child. Did father, did he mistreat you? No, your father could be very difficult, though he was gentle with me. Soon enough, we got on fine, better than fine at times, but when I was with child, why, I struggled terribly, because child born of surface dwellers could not live down there.
could not live down there according to whom exactly? The fates? According to them, yes. According to your father and to Nyx. Even having heard, I took my chances anyway. But when you emerged stillborn, it was too much. I fled. I fled and came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld. Beneath the notice of Olympus. Uh, but why would Father lie to you? If he never wanted you, or never wanted me, surely he had the means. I don't know. I'm wondering the same. But, oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. I'm trying, but I can't stay that much longer, I don't think. Oh, my dear son. Then please, ask Hades what you asked of me. Why he would lie. Tell him I must know, the same as you. And you farewell. Until we meet again. Until we... you late with your report, Hypnos. Again. Again! The dead, of course, can wait, but I'm less patient. Now explain yourself to me. Oh, well, let's see. I woke up, I don't know what time it was, and I made sure that every shade had been accounted for, just like I always do, except I couldn't find my list at first. Can you believe it? I thought maybe my brother played a little prank, and so... Get to the blasted point already, I don't have all day. Or night. Uh, your report, where is it? Sure, I was just getting to it, Master. My list, I found it over by the lounge. It was inside, but I am not the one who put it there, no sir. So I've been making positively sure it's not been tampered with, that it has everybody's name, cause of death, place of birth, former body weight, any previous allergies or medications. Enough! Blood and darkness, that's enough from you. Just see to it the Ledger of the Dead is accurate, and get back to your post. Oh, would that you could be more like your brother. You've done it now, Hypnos. I found her boy, my mother. Persephone, you remember her, don't you? She was pleased to hear about you. But I couldn't stay for long, and I have to find her again. So, guess I'll see you at the temple then. <laughs> the ghoulish features of the much reviled Hound of Hell all soften instantly upon the mention of a certain name. Briefly then, the monster is at peace. There's a good boy. Thought you'd like that.
<laughs> Cerberus is overjoyed to have received such a delicious treat. for me. Hey Orpheus, you know about the time I vanquished seven legions of bloodless warriors with both hands tied behind my back while hopping on one foot? Lord Poseidon dared me to do it, you know. Why, that is a spectacularly vivid tale, Zagreus, and most deserving to be chronicled in song. Would that there were a poet here still willing to commit such deeds to verse. Would that there were, mate. You reached the surface. Nix, why did you never send word to Mother that I lived? You knew at least approximately where she went. You and Father, you could have spared her so much pain. I swore a binding oath never to say, child. I have already circumvented it as much as can be done. Know that we... That I acted with only her well-being in mind, as well as yours. Uh. <laughs> Should visit the head chef. Cerberus in the spotlight. What's in stock? Always, Your Highness. Take care, Dusa. Cooking's one way to pass the time. Here, you can have these, Chef. Use them wisely, my friend. again, sir, and we were able to talk some more. But I have so many questions left for her, and Father's certainly not been of any help. Well, first of all, good work. I knew you had it in you. Secondly, you know what you have to do. Go find her, for as many chances as it takes. It's not just her you sought. It's the answers to those questions that you have. Yes, I will. Really? Come on, what is this, Zagreus? You think handing this to me makes up for everything you've put us through? It's just something I found out there that I thought you might like, Than. Don't think anything of it. took Lord Hades down. You really did. I've never seen him quite like this before. I could scarce believe it when he came up through the pool of sticks himself. 
seemed only fair in the grand scheme of things. He slew his own parents at some point, right? I think the fates enjoy this sort of thing. Come on, Zag. Take some credit where it's due. Though, you'll forgive me if I keep my distance for a little while, as I think you have some issues to resolve. You watch yourself. I'm planning to. Won't open. Fates have spoken. I should go. My blade. How's it going? You know, pal, when you're not around and it's just me and all your weapons, I mean your infernal arms right over there. Between us, they are making me a bit uncomfortable. Can't blame you, mate. I wouldn't want to be stuck in a chamber with a bunch of legendary, quite possibly malevolent killing artifacts. Anything I can do? Oh, I didn't mean it like a bad thing, boyo. The weirder you make those things, the more it gives me the shakes and keeps me hopping like this nice and steady till the next time you get back. So thanks. Uh, sure. Let's test the bond between us.